Okay, so I promised I would record a tutorial on how to use um, Loopy HD. And so let's dive right into it. When you download the app, um, this is what it looks like. That icon over there on the top left hand corner. So if you click in onto that, that's what it looks like when you open the app. Let's get into the settings. So at the bottom of the screen, do you see next to that blue bar, there's an arrow pointing up. Oops. Click on that, go to settings. Let's start with the general. Uh, the first thing you'll want to do is select how many um, tracks you want to see in the layout. Now, mm, I recommend that you choose, well, if you're like me and you kind of just love uh, creating, like you love creating layering lots of different harmonies, then you'll want the maximum number of tracks. So the maximum number is 12. But if you go to track layout, you may choose among 6, 8, 9, or 12 tracks. Uh, what else is important here? Okay, the other thing that's important um, is the metronome function. So you may choose the sound of the metronome. The default is like the drum kit um, kick and hi-hat, but you can also choose like a wood block sound or um, just a click. Actually, I'm going to select click. Yeah. All right. If you go to track management, make sure that the following functions are enabled, that you've activated them. So select on for these. Clear after merge. Fit import, oops, pardon me. Fit imported loops. And um, overdub after record. Well, we'll get into that. Some people prefer to have that disactivated. Um, is that the right word? Deactivated? Yeah, disabled, okay. Um, and have that off. But the reason why I'm keeping it on is because for this particular um, experiment that we're gonna do, uh, one of the things that is required is like one continuous note throughout the whole song. And that's possible only if you select the overdub function. So that's the reason why we're keeping that on. And the other thing you're going to want to make sure you've got um, enabled is synchronized tracks. Everything else, make sure that uh, everything else is disabled. So fade in, fade out, you want to make sure that that's disabled. If you turn that on, what that means is that there's going to be like a slight crescendo at the beginning of each loop and a decrescendo at the end of each loop. And we don't want that. Um, and also the other thing is make sure that play from start is uh, disabled because what that's going to do is, um, yeah, it can get out of sync <laughs> and you'll see what I'm, I mean. What else do I need to show you? Okay, the gain. I'm actually going to lower that for now. Um, and I've got monitoring off. But when you're using Loopy, you might find it useful to have that on. It just gets in the way of uh, recording this tutorial, which is the reason why I've selected uh, I've um, selected off for the monitor. And make sure that live input recording is on. Okay, that's basically for if you want to um, record a solo on top of the tracks that you lay down. Okay, so to start a new project, um, click on the upper right hand corner. Uh, on the icon that looks like a piece of paper. Reset session. Let's get right into it. So you see where there's the blue bar. If you click on the right of that, that allows you to scroll through the different um, functions. The first thing we're going to want to do is set the meter. I've got it set on 3-4, but you can use the arrows to change that. Okay, so if I click on the arrow to the right, that will change it to 4-4, but I actually I prefer to keep it on 3-4 right now. The tap function, that allows you to set the BPM. And you can set that by just tapping the tempo that you want. So, dum, dum, dum. Okay. I think this should be good. 80. Something like 80. So we're not actually hearing anything right now because I haven't activated the metronome function yet. So I'm going to click play. Um, and... Keep scrolling till you get to this um, view over here where you see the metronome on the left and the sort of light bulb icon on the right. So what happens if you click on the metronome 
is that starts your um, metronome for you. You can regulate the volume of the metronome uh, by um, uh, with this like a volume control right below the metronome icon. Okay, if you select, uh, if you click on the light bulb, what that does is indicate to you with a flashing screen uh, the beat. Okay, we can get started. So, let me read the challenge to you. We're going to try to create something on the spot. So the challenge. So basically, this is the latest challenge in the Facebook group, um, which is called Groupe des Fitons Lupe, which in English means challenge your looper. So basically, uh, this is what the challenge um, says. Défi ton looper numéro 5. C'est peut-être un peu rapide comme enchaînement, mais je suis en plein là-dedans. Faire un solo sur la base d'un bourdon et d'un arpège d'un accord majeur sur le troisième degré. Par exemple, bourdon do, arpège sur un accord de mi majeur. Okay, so um, what I'm understanding is that for this challenge, we're required to have a drone, a single note throughout the whole piece. And then on a major third above that note, uh, we're supposed to have a um, uh, an arpeggio of a major chord. And then do a solo on top of that. Okay, so let's get started. I actually think it would be easier to start with the arpeggio. Dun, dun, dun. So to start recording, all you have to do is click on one of, in the middle of one of these circles. So I'm going to do that right now. So when it's orange, it means that it's still recording. When it's blue, uh, it means that it stopped recording. Because we've selected the overdub function, so we've activated that, uh, when you've clicked on uh, the circle once after recording, it will still be orange because when you select the overdub function, it allows you to record on top of what you've just recorded. So let me just demonstrate that because we're going to do the, um, the single note drone now. that but I basically oh you couldn't see my finger but I click on that once um, and then in order to have that single continuous sound I had to click on it again and make sure I cover the gaps okay strange harmony here <laughs> okay and I want to add a little vocal percussion because I don't like the sound of the metronome by uh, keeping my finger, like keeping the, um, my finger pressed to the center of that circle until this menu appears, select on volume, and that's how we can regulate the volume. You also have other options such as, and if I do that again, uh, pan, the pan option, meaning like you can choose whether to move it slightly to the left or to the right. I was a little bit late in that. 
that, so I'm gonna clear that and do that again. drag one loop with my finger down to the other what happens is it unites them like that okay and I'm gonna lower the volume of this last one stop this for now and show you how to um, do recording with uh, the parts that you've just recorded and um, a solo on top. So if you click uh, on the arrow at the bottom of the screen next to the blue bar and go to record the record button, see right next to the, the paper icon on the left, there's the record function. And then to stop the recording, just select on the uh, select the record button again. And that's it. Uh, that saves the recording in the recordings section. So I'll go back to that screen. See under sessions. Okay. If you click on recordings, you will see um, the recording saved according to the date and the time at which you created the, um, uh, the recording. Okay. Now to save the session, um, so that it lo so that the same session loads again next time, go to sessions and uh, select save current session. You can change the the name of that. So I'm going to write Defi Sank, and this is actually yeah Defi Sank. Okay, and that's it. Have fun with your looper. <laughs>